is right here. Yeah, yeah. Seek shelter. Stay tuned. But stay put. You got to stay right where you are. And that's what God is saying to someone here today in a real sense. He's saying, be still and know that I am God. Yes, sir. Some of y'all, you're moving too, you're moving too fast. You're moving too quickly. You, you, you need to stay put. As you're seeking out the next directive and the next move for your life, maybe you just need to stay put. Until the Lord has given you clear instructions, yes, stay put. Be still and know mm. that I am God. And as they stay put right there where they were. See, uh, some people will be tempted to abandon ship. Uh, some people will be tempted to jump out of the boat. And I'm telling you, stay put. I know what you're going through is not the best situation and not the best scenario, but don't you abandon ship. Don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. Stay put. Because God said, Christ has told us we're going to make it to the other side. And since you're going to make it to the other side, the worst thing that you can do is to take matters into your own hands. That's right. Seek shelter, seek shelter, stay tuned in, and stay put. Watch this. And as they stayed right where they were, the Bible says, Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And when he spoke, Peace, be still, the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Watch this. He rose up, he spoke up, and the storm cleared up. Preach past the sandals. If you stay put and stay right where you are, I promise you, the Lord will show up. And when the Lord shows up, he'll show out in your life. And Jesus, the Bible says, he rose up. Christ is wanting and will rise up in your situation. Don't be hasty. Don't, don't, don't do something stupid. Don't be impatient. Stay still. Stay put. Be still and know that he is God and he will rise up. Not only will he rise up and he'll speak up in your life and speak up on your behalf and speak up in your situation. I'm talking to someone here today that you didn't know how you were going to make it. You didn't know how things were going to turn out. But somehow, some way, at the right time, he showed up. Amen. He rose up and he spoke up. And when God speaks, things begin to happen. Amen. In the beginning was God and God said, let there be light. God put all things into emotion, into motion. Why? Because he spoke up. And when he spoke up, my brothers and my sisters, things begin to clear up. Because the seas begin to be calm. It says there was, see y'all missed it because uh, in verse, uh, let's go back in verse 37, it says, and a great windstorm arose. Yes. But I think you just missed what it said in verse 39 at the speed portion. It says, and the wind ceased and there was a great calm. On one end, there's a great storm. But on the other end, there's a great calm. So whatever the great storm is in your life, if you just hold on to God's unchanging hand, that great storm will turn into a great calm. And somehow, some way, it will all work out. Have I got a witness in here all today? Uh, but, but, but watch this. He spoke two words, two phrases. Peace. Be still. The Lord is speaking peace into your life. And he's causing that which is moving and that which is chaotic. He's calling it to peace and he's calling it to be still. That right there is something for us to be comforted in. Amen. To know that the Lord gives peace, and that the Lord causes peace and stillness. So I told you how to sustain the storm. I told you how to survive the storm. But now can I tell you about succeeding the storm and I'm done? How do we succeed now that we've come out of the storm? How do we succeed and how do we advance and how do we move on with our lives once we have come through the storm? Because it's one thing to come through, it's another thing to conquer. And so I'm, I want to talk about how we conquer. I'm giving to you in just a few seconds, and we're done. Look, 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 look at verse 40. It says, but he said to them, why are you so fearful? Fearful? How is it that you have no faith? They <laughs> feared exceedingly and said to one another, who can this be? And even the winds and the seas 
obey Him? How do we conquer? How are we more than conquerors? It's through Christ Jesus. Yeah. That's, that's how we are more than conquerors. It's through Christ Jesus. We succeed because we have Christ on our side and because we have Christ inside. Amen. Oh, I wish y'all were catching this. That's how we succeed. We, we talk about sustaining. We talk about surviving. But we succeed and will continue to succeed with any and every storm that comes into our life because of who is on our side and because who is inside. Christ said, there's no need for you to be fearful. No need for you to be afraid. Where is your faith? Don't put your faith in the boat. Don't put your faith in the life jackets, if you will. Don't put your faith in one another. Put your faith and your trust in me and me alone. So this, this is how we sustain. This is how we survive. This is how we succeed the storm.